Hey everyone, this is Sidewinder247. Just wanted to drop a quick video. I just finished building my new gaming laptop, or sorry, reformatting it and reinstalling Windows to get rid of all the extra junk. But, I was about to go through my normal desktop cleanup process and figured I'd share a video on it real quick. A couple friends and I had a conversation on Twitter and they had shown a bit of interest, so... I hate... desktop icons. I hate having a cluttered desktop. I've got friends that have hundreds of icons on their desktop. And they have to end up doing stuff like trying to find creative groupings for them and things like that so they can keep track of certain programs and where they are and groups of programs. So I'm just going to go over a couple things today that will show you how to completely clean up your desktop plus still have access to all those applications very quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the desktop icons which is an easy piece that pretty much everybody knows how to do. But then we're also going to add menus to our desktop that give us access to all of those icons that we normally want. The reason most of my friends have so many icons on their desktop is because they don't want to get rid of or lose that convenience of easily accessing those applications quickly. So just a few things. It'll be a pretty quick video. Uh, this will work on pretty much any version of Windows. I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. This will work on any version of Windows 7, any version of Windows Vista, and also Windows XP. So the first piece, fairly quickly, you can see that over here on the left hand side of my screen I've got a bunch of icons. Now this is nothing compared to some of my friends. It's a new build so there's not too much on this machine yet. But still I want to go ahead and get rid of these. For hiding the icons, it's as simple as right clicking on the desktop, going to view, and deselecting show desktop icons. Now notice that in Windows 7 icons and gadgets are two completely separate things. So I can hide the icons while still keeping the gadgets available. If you notice on the upper right hand corner of my screen I have a gadget that shows me what the current speed of my processor is. That way when Intel Turbo Boost kicks in I have an idea of how fast the processor is going, things like that. So. I can hide the icons while keeping the gadgets. I can also hide both if I want. Anyway, back to hiding the icons. So I'm going to right click on the desktop, hover over view, and then go and deselect show desktop icons. Boom. Instant clean desktop. That way if you have a nice desktop background or wallpaper and you don't like having a bunch of icons on top of it, now you just have your nice neat desktop background. So. Now that we've gotten rid of the icons, we still want to keep that convenience of having them easily available. So the next piece is to actually create a couple menus on our desktop that will give us access to those icons. Now what's nice is pretty much all versions of Windows automatically create a menu for you that has all your desktop icons on it. It just doesn't show up by default. So what we're going to do is go down to our taskbar at the bottom of the screen, right click on it, choose the toolbars option, and notice there's a few default toolbars already built in and I'm going to choose the desktop toolbar. So I've turned it on and you might not notice too big of a difference right away but if you look at the lower right hand corner of my screen down here you'll notice that now there is a little menu that says desktop. If I click the arrows to open it now I have access to all the shortcuts that were on my desktop. Now it's a dynamic menu, so anytime you install new applications on the program, if they add shortcuts to your desktop, those shortcuts will automatically be added to this menu as well. Basically all this menu is, is it's a list, it, it's basically a menu view of the folder that holds all your desktop icons normally. Your desktop's really just a fancy folder that has a slightly different way of representing itself in Windows. So also notice that it has a bit more functionality than my standard desktop icons. I've got all my shortcuts. I've also got things like network, computer, home group, libraries. So it gives you even more functionality than what your desktop icons did because you have access to certain things that you'd normally have to go through the start menu for. So now I've cleaned up all the clutter on the desktop. I've got a menu on my desktop now that's out of the way. It's there when I need it. And it gives me access to all those applications that I would normally be trying to get to. Now in order to organize these so that you don't end up with a super huge menu, what we're going to do is create multiple menus. Say for example I want a menu that makes it easy to get to all the Microsoft Office applications. 
So what's nice about this is all these menus are again is a menu version of a folder. So all I need to do is find the folder that has all those Microsoft Office shortcuts in it and turn that into a menu. And it's actually fairly simple. The easiest way to find the Office folder is go to your Start menu. And at that point you can either go to All Programs or you can just type in one of the Office programs on your Start menu. In my case I'll type in Word. Microsoft Word shows up at the top of the menu. I right click on it. And I don't want to open Word. What I want to do is open the file location. I want to open the folder that has the shortcut to Word. So I hit open file location, and now I've got the folder open that has the shortcuts to all my Microsoft Office products. Now again, all I really want is the path to this folder. So up here in the address bar, I see that it's on my C drive, Microsoft Windows, Start Menu Programs, Microsoft Office. I don't want to remember all that, so I'm just going to click up here. I'm going to right click and copy that file path. And then I'm going to close this window. And just like we did with our desktop menu, I'm going to go to the lower portion of my screen, right click on the taskbar, go to the toolbars option, and this time I'm going to choose new toolbar. All I have to do at this point is where it asks for a folder here, I'm just going to paste in the file path that I copied earlier that goes to that Microsoft Office folder. I copy it in there, hit the select folder button, and now I have a Microsoft Office menu down here on my desktop as well. If I open the menu, here's shortcuts to all the Office products. So I've just added roughly 10 more shortcuts to my desktop without actually taking up any more room on my desktop. So now I've got two menus, access to a lot of my applications, but I want to add some more. So say for example on my machine I've got the Microsoft Expression products. Now, these give me a lot of tools for graphic design, things like that, so I tend to use them a lot. And in fact, that's what I'm using to create the screen captures uh, when we have Microsoft Expression screen capture. So I want to give myself quick access to these applications as well. Now, with these ones, it doesn't work quite the same way it did with Office. And what you'll notice is some groups of programs don't give you a convenient folder with all the shortcuts in them. So what you may need to do is create your own folder, put all the shortcuts you want in that folder, and then turn that into a menu. In this case, what I need to do, because if I right click on Expression Encoder here and go to, uh, oh, it doesn't even give me the option, let me see, type in another one, Blend. If I right click on Expression Blend and choose Open File Location, notice that I don't get my nice folder with all the shortcuts what I get is all the actual application binaries which I do not want in my menu. But an easy way to get to what I'm looking for is to open the start menu, go to all programs, and look for the folder here. So for example I have Microsoft Expression. If I want to see what's in it I can just click and I see that oh well this has shortcuts to all the Expression products. So what I'm going to do is right click on that folder, choose open, and here's what I was looking for. I want the folder with all the shortcuts to the expression products. So once again I'm going to go up to the address bar, click in there, that'll highlight the file path, right click on it, copy it, close the window, and then the same process we did before. Right click on the taskbar, go to toolbars, new toolbar, and paste in that path to that folder verify that it's correct, and hit select folder. So now I've got three menus. I've got my desktop menu, I've got my Microsoft Office menu, and I've got my expression menu. All of these give me quick access to the applications. It's all on my desktop, but without cluttering up the desktop, so I don't have to have a bunch of icons spread all over the place making a mess and dig through them all the time. So it gives me a much more efficient way of organizing all the applications that I want to get to on a regular basis without losing the convenience of having them all right there on your desktop. Now if I wanted to, I could create another one. Let's see, I'll go into my documents here. I'm going to right click, create a new folder, 
And I will call this one social media. Now what I would end up what I would end up doing with this folder is putting things in here, maybe like shortcuts to any instant messenger programs that I use, um, anything that I use for TweetDeck, uh, for Twitter, for Facebook, things like that. And I, again, this is a fresh build, so I don't have any of those applications on the laptop yet, but I just want to show how easy it is to create your own menu. So I've got my social media folder. I'm going to go ahead and let's see, I'll create a new text document. Call it test one. Drop that into my social media folder here. I'm going to open the social media folder. And the main reason I'm opening it is because I want to get the path to that folder again. So I'm going to go up to the address bar, click in here, copy the path to the folder, close the window, and again back through the same process. Right click on the taskbar, go to toolbars, new toolbar, paste in the path to that folder I just created, and hit select folder. So now I've got a social media menu. At this point it only has a text file in it called test1. But that should show you how easy it is to create your own custom menus. The menu name is automatically going to be whatever the name of the folder was. And anything that's in that folder is going to show up on the menu. So this gives you a quick and easy way of organizing all your applications, keeping the convenience of having av available from your desktop without having a mess of icons all over the desktop. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share for today. Hopefully this helps, and I will talk to you all later.